Here is a headline that should get your attention. This is from uh, Fox New York. Biden administration to fund programs to hand out crack pipes. <laughs> <laughs> this is such. This is a kind of headline. In fact, the Babylon Bee did a little post, and uh, Kyle Mann from the Bee says, "If one of my writers had pitched this headline, I'd have rejected it as being too absurd." But uh, well, it's not entirely absurd, as we're going to find out in a minute. Uh, so here's some detail from really a series of news reports. Apparently, the Biden administration is concerned about quote advancing racial equity. Racial equity in what? Apparently in drug consumption, in the consumption of illegal drugs. And they're thinking here, they, they refer to the opioid epidemic, but they're also talking about the crack cocaine and crystal meth epidemics. And apparently Biden's decided that uh, one solution, <laughs> solution to this epidemic, what normal people would think you are promoting the epidemic, is to supply uh, not just crack pipes, but the crack paraphernalia, the whole so-called kit. Now, think about this. Uh, if you bought a crack pipe with your own money and you started buying all this drug paraphernalia, that would be a crime. But for the government to do it is not a crime. It's apparently OK. And um, Jen Psaki was asked about this, the press secretary. And she goes, no, 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 this is a, this is really um, misinformation. Our kit uh, does contain a lot of paraphernalia for drug users, but it doesn't contain the actual crack pipe. So the White House is pushing back at the idea that they're kind of handing out the crack pipes. They do agree that they're handing out what they call safe smoking kits. This is an echo of the so-called so safe sex kits of earlier decades. And apparently there's alcohol swabs and lip balm and clean syringes and other material. So I don't think there's really any doubt here that the Biden administration is in the name of combating drugs, um, actually promoting drugs. And um, and evidently promoting drugs in minority communities because it says, quote, applicants for the program get priority if they serve underserved communities. Who's an underserved community? African-Americans, Native Americans and LGBTQ people. Wow. With friends like these, who needs you know enemies if you are a minority group? Uh, if I was a member of one of these groups and I heard that they were distributing drug paraphernalia in my community, I would not be. I would not be happy about it. Now, um, you know, let's think here about what Trump was offering minority communities and what Biden is. Biden is essentially offering them crack paraphernalia. Trump offered them a platinum plan, so-called, $500 billion to create 40 black Wall Streets, to create investment communities in 40 cities, to bring entrepreneurship and economic empowerment to those communities. So is it any surprise that, that there are blacks for the first time, maybe the first time in years, if not decades, saying, you know what, I think I'll move over, over to the GOP. They're offering me a little bit of a better prospect to improve my life than to make me content with my misery. And this is the key point that for me, this isn't just about crack paraphernalia. It's a metaphor for the parasitic relationship between minority underclasses, not just, well, of course, the black ghettos, but also Indian reservations, Latino barrios. Essentially, what the Democrats want to do is keep these populations inoculated, which is to say comatose, which is to say dependent, which is to say looking to the Democrats for another quick fix. And the Democrats will keep you in that state because they know that as long as you're in that state, they have you, they own you. Uh, you're, in a sense, their property. And I'm using that phrase with the full implications that it carries out. The party of slavery now has discovered a new way to create dependency and sustain it. This time, not to steal the labor of these people, but to steal their votes. So um, uh, the Democrats in this respect are acting true to form. And in, in looking at this program and looking at, despite all the qualifications, despite all the hedges, it's not this, it's that. And nevertheless, uh, what we're seeing here is a fitting symbol for how Democrats view not just black people, but um, all minorities.